The White House, of course, is keeping a close eye on the developments overnight. ABC's White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks joins us now from the North Lawn. Good morning, Mary Alice. Gio, good morning to you. This moment is a real test for President Biden and the U.S. relationship with Israel. There are, of course, these real concerns about whether this moment will derail any negotiations to get those hostages out and get other U.S. Uh, foreign nationals stuck in Gaza out. There's also that concern that this could cause real blowback, a ripple effect of violence across the region. The U.S. is already on high alert yesterday, striking down a drone believed to be targeting U.S. forces in Iraq. A White House official telling us we will not hesitate to take further action in our own self-defense. Now, President Biden and White House officials have tried to walk a fine line publicly, privately pushing for a humanitarian pause, telling Israel they are concerned about civilian casualties, about collateral damage, about what exactly Israel's game plan is here. Uh, behind the scenes, pressuring Israel to adopt a more incremental approach. But on the other hand, the White House has not wanted to look like it is dictating what Israel can do, what exactly they should do on the ground. Now, we've asked if the United States thinks that Israel is following the laws of war here. U.S. officials, White House officials have just deflected on that question. They did tell us yesterday that nowhere near enough aid has gotten in. They said that U.N. officials, international medical teams have to have access to fuel. Now, big picture, the U.S. is, of course, supplying Israel with significant military hardware these last few weeks, weapons, ammunition, replenishment for the Iron Dome. And White House National Security spokesperson John Kirby told reporters yesterday, we are not drawing red lines for Israel. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.